my name is Mike Wright. Uh, I've been a guide here with Confluence Outfitters for the last uh, nine years. And we are out here today on the Uber River. So the section of the Uber River that we fish out of drift boats is about 15 miles uh, east of Marysville. Uh, we drift down from the Highway 20 bridge down to the Gary Point Dam. Uh, it's got a variety of water on it. Um, we fish it uh, 365 days out of the year based on the weather. Uh, sometimes it does blow out, gets a little dirty and we have to miss it out. But for the most part, it's a fishery that uh, most people can spend a complete day on out of a drift boat. Uh, you can choose to walk and wade out of the boat. You can choose to stay in the boat and fish. And uh, it's a full day drift uh, for most people. We're about an hour and 10 minutes uh, north of Sacramento. So one of the unique aspects of the Yuba is it provides you with the opportunity to fish it in a variety of ways. Uh, most every day out here, there's an opportunity to dry fly fish out of the boat or from being in the river, uh, which is unique to kind of the Yuba River um, for trout and for steelhead. Uh, we definitely run our indicator rigs and indicator fishing out of the boat uh, from the top to the bottom. And that can be good uh, year round for a variety of reasons. And then uh, on an occasional day, we will swing uh, some, some flies for trout and for steelhead with spay rods and single hand rods. Uh, so the unique part about the Yuba is that it's a small enough river uh, to fish in a variety of ways, but it's a big enough river and a tailwater um, that it's fishable most every single day that you come out here. Um, and so we really enjoy the variety of ways that we can fish the Yuba and provide opportunities for all of our clients to fish uh, a different type of uh, a different type of river than they might be used to. So another aspect of the Yuba River is that it provides uh, fishing opportunities for the beginning angler. Uh, most of our beginning angler trips are all indicator trips, nymphing uh, from the boat. Uh, we have some success with catching lots of trout, smaller trout for, uh, for the beginning anglers that are just learning how to cast, how to present flies, how to put things uh, together for a fishing day. Um, it's not a long drift, so it's not a long a day. Sometimes we get nice breaks in there, we get in the water, we can move around. But it's also an excellent river for the seasoned angler. Uh, if you want to challenge yourself with some dry fly fishing, obviously in the summertime we throw uh, grasshoppers. In the dead of winter we throw squala dries. But most every other day of the year we have opportunities on some smaller dries in some unique water uh, that presents an opportunity for anglers of all abilities from beginner uh, all the way to expert. And it's one of the reasons I like guiding the river so much. So the Yuba does fish uh, all year long, um, but maybe a little differently than the lower Sacramento River. Uh, it does have a seasonal feel to it. Um, in the dead of winter, it's a really unique dry fly uh, fishery, which is what a lot of my clients really are looking for. They are looking to come onto the river in the dead of December and January and February and throw dry flies for trout. Uh, in the winter season, starting in about October, all the way through um, you know, the beginning of March, there's a definite steelhead run that moves into the Uber River. So my clients who are uh, sort of dialed into wanting to catch some valley steelhead, uh, spend a lot of time coming up here in the winter time and in the fall. Uh, in the spring, there's definitely a transition time in which it moves back into uh, a trout fishery and we are moving our rigs into little smaller sets of flies and more small dry fly opportunities. In the heat of summer, uh, when it gets really hot out here, the grasshoppers are our number one sort of opportunity. We take five weight rods and throw grasshoppers on every ounce of water that's out here. Uh, and fish will come up and rise and, and make some really spectacular grabs of some fly, uh, some grasshopper fishing on the surface. Uh, and then moving out of the summertime back into the fall, we have an egg bite, uh, just like the lower Sacramento River where the salmon come in. They're spawning all the way through the Yuba River, dropping eggs, and the trout become really ravenous uh, to eat that. So if you're gonna book a trip on the Yuba, you should call and talk to one of the guides because the time of year that you come does really sort of dictate the type of fishing and the fishing experience that you might get on the Yuba River. And it's not necessarily the same experience all year round. So um, it's unique in that fact that we fish it all year round, but we don't fish it the same way. Uh, and we have this sort of seasonal approach to the Uber River. 
So to uh, come out here and experience everything that the Yuba has to offer to you, uh, please make sure that you contact us at Confluence Outfitters uh, on our website, on our Instagram page. We'll make sure that we set you up. We give you the right expectation for what you're gonna do on the Yuba River. And we'll bring you out at a good time to catch some beautiful trout on a very unique setting here, uh, sort of in the valley.